research has shown that teens involved with peer-to-peer -peer mentoring have meaningful impacts on their friends and probably even more important is that these peer leaders become even more committed to making healthy lifestyle choices and here to talk more about that from Potential Magazine publisher Pam Mashburn and the director of what's called the FOCUS program, Sue Jones. Thank you both for being here. Uh, talk to us a little bit about FOCUS. What is the FOCUS program? Well, FOCUS is student-led prevention of adolescent risk behaviors, and it's a funded project through the Alabama Department of Public Health. Mm -hmm. And we work with schools across the state to sort of give ownership of all the statistics that we're aware of, things that impact our youth, mm -hmm. give them a voice and give them ownership and making a difference in their school and community. Don't just throw those numbers out there, let's say, see what we can do about and it. And lecture and tell them if you do this, this is the consequence, you know. Let them have a, a voice in what we need to do to make a difference. Yeah, well, because they know what's going to reach them. They know Absolutely. what's going to reach their peers better than anybody mm -hmm. else. Why is it important to get your child involved in something like that? Yeah. Potential Magazine was so excited, we were so excited we met Sue because what she's doing is helping kids not <clears throat> shut doors, you know, to the future, that, they're, that they make good, healthy lifestyle choices mm -hmm. so that they can be, because they're going to be our next generation of leaders. And um, so one of the things we like to see is these um, students from these schools going to learn. They learn from each other. They learn from, the, they have some great uh, speakers that are going to be coming. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's something they can put on their resume. Mm -hmm. And it's something that they can, like, if they find out about something another school's doing, they can say, let's do that at our school. And they can lead that and really make an impact on their community. They certainly can. And well, I love that. I, I do, too. I think it's great that you're doing something where they can help themselves. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of times they feel like this is just shoved in their face and, mm -hmm. and you know, rammed down their throat and said, this is, good, this is how you're going to do it, and mm -hmm. that's that. But you're giving them options. You're telling them this is what you can do, and this is the consequence of it, good or bad. Right. And they need to make their own decisions and maybe pass that along to the next person, the next young person, so they'll know better next time. Yeah, absolutely. I taught school for many years, and yeah. we won't say how many, but for, <laughs> many, for many years. And uh, the first part of my career was a lot of lecture, increasing knowledge mm -hmm. and hoping that that would change behaviors but I learned after a while that there's a low correlation between knowledge of facts and behavior so we need to do more knowledge is is the base but we need to do more and what what we're doing through focus which developed in Jacksonville City Schools mm -hmm. and has evolved into an elective class or can be implemented as an extracurricular activity mm -hmm. in schools or it can be infused into an already established class it's not a box we, we go to schools and work, and hopefully they will find out how this program works in their school. Yeah. But yes, give the students ownership. I, I found out that when we sat back and asked them what we should do as adults, parents, mm -hmm. and teachers, and community and, uh, agencies, they like to tell us. Yeah. This you know, they, they think yeah. very yeah. well, they and they have great ideas. And so what I learned is sit back, and I, it has been miraculous yeah. how this program has impacted our behaviors of our young people. Well, yeah. and you know what I love is that they empower the kids yes. mm -hmm. to say, okay, so this might be a, a way you can do this. So, and one of the things that um, Sue was telling me is that when your kids are um, taking ownership of these things, mm -hmm. they're going to make better decisions mm -hmm. and then they can impact their friends. Yeah. So that's, that's really the name of the game because we mm -hmm. really want our kids to be surrounding themselves with other good kids. But it's easy for them to get wayward. Sure. You know, all our kids are knuckleheads. We remember that. Yeah, we, we did it. You know, but it, you know, because most of the time that looks like it's more fun. That uh -huh. looks mm -hmm. like it's, it's a lot more enticing. And and you talk about some pretty heavy uh, mm -hmm. topics. You mentioned uh, STDs. You mentioned bullying, uh, mm -hmm. harassment, all kinds of things yes. that. It used to be you didn't have to worry about right. that on, on the great scale, but now it's a lot different. So and they the consequences that. are greater. And are much greater. You know, so let's, let's talk about when they can get this uh, yeah. training from you. You have an event coming up in a couple of weeks, Absolutely. Right? Well, actually, we have two youth conferences per year, one in the fall, mm -hmm. which is going to be on October 8th at the Renaissance Hotel and Spa. And then we have one in the spring. April 30th, and that's in Talladega, Chaco Springs. Mm -hmm. And then in between, we do uh, facilitator training where we give professional development. People can go online and register free for this program. We're not trying to sell it to them. It's funded through public health with 
uh, help also sponsorship from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alabama and others. Okay, well let's um, tell them it's yeah. the focusprogram.com mm -hmm. is where you can get more information about this group and register. And register. register. And you can call them at 256-453-0655 and I wanted you to mention really All quickly right. you have an event on Tuesday. We do. We have an event on Tuesday at Prattville High School. It's our Countdown to College workshop. It's open to the public. Please come. We're going to have Alabama, um, Auburn, a bunch of schools that are going to have a panel, and they're going to tell us the <laughs> secrets to getting that scholarship money and getting in the school that we want to be in. So That's good. When yeah. and where is that? Prattville High School, Tuesday night the 29th at 6 o'clock. All right, and if you want to pick up Potential Magazine, or where can they find it online? Um, online, PotentialMagazine.com. There you go. Yeah. You can find it right there. Thank you so much, both of you, for coming in and talking to